Hey guys, it's Chris here, and today we're going to be doing an audio upgrade for the room. So, I got these 1 foot by 1 foot 12 inch panels. What does that even mean? They're audio panels, and I have 12 of these. Did you hear me? I have 12 of these. And they're going to be put around this room. Right now, this is what the audio sounds like. There's no audio panels on the wall, but if I use my phone right here, and let's see start recording so that's you guys that's the microphone I'm using and this is the room I think I'm gonna put some right here right there and hopefully the audio will sound much better more clear and less echoey so that's me again and let me know if you hear any audio differences so I have 12 panels right here I'm going to be putting four, four, and four, and let's see if there's a difference. So at this point, I realized I needed to open these and see what they look like before I can actually make this video. So I cut these open, and turns out they're in a vacuum seal package. I got, again, I know it's vacuum sealed, but wow, were these tightly wound up. And I thought, all right, I got 12, now I got to set these up. Okay, so this is where things got a little bit tough. There's actually a process to this after buying it from Amazon. So at this point, I figured these panels weren't going to expand themselves, and I have 12, like, 1 centimeter panels. And I figured, let's look online and see what we got. And one of the guys recommended soaking them in warm water. So that's what I did to help them expand and get to their actual size of 12 inch by 12 inch square at a 2 inch thickness. It's pretty cool they're vacuum packed, but if I knew I had to do this work, I think I would have just gone to Guitar Center or somewhere else and got them straight out of the box. For 50 bucks, there's some actual work to do. And this is uh, kind of turned me off. You have to soak them in the water, then you have to take them outside to let them dry. And when you take them in your room, they're still wet. In the end, it was just taking too long. So I put them up on the walls, even with water droplets still somewhere in some of them. So that was it with the watering. The next step is to actually start putting these on the wall. Thank the Lord I had the Firecore laser leveler, which was easy to set up. I just put on my tripod, turn on the switch, and I have a f solid line showing me where I should put these panels. Way easier than using the red leveler I had. How was I gonna hold that up while putting panels? I do not know. Now it's kinda sad taking these pictures down, but they're definitely going somewhere else in the room. The best part about this process was how much the fire core saved my life. My goodness, if I didn't have this thing, I would take days and days just trying to figure this out. I would need another person or another set of hands to hold up a red leveler. And the easiest way to put these audio panels up is to put some velcro tape on them and I currently just use one strip. And what I noticed was after wringing these out, you guys know what wringing is, I was taking the water out of the audio panels and I noticed that after they dried up, they kind of deformed a little, which is a complete bummer for me. Now in terms of choosing the location of where I put these panels, what I did was I go to each side of the wall, every corner, and listen to how the sound, um, how the music sounds. Is there reverb, meaning audio coming back to my ear so I hear it double time? Uh, how does it sound clear to me if it doesn't? Or if there's just too much sound going through in this area that needs to be dampened. So I went to this wall on the opposite side of my speakers and definitely heard a lot of sound coming, bouncing back into my ears. So I figured I'd put four here and then I chose another other two places. And so that's how I chose where to put these panels. So let's move on to the end of the video and give you an audio test of um, me in the room ending this video. Let's get to it. Hey guys, so this is the audio test with the audio panels up. What do you think? Is there a difference? The microphone is in the same spot right in front of me. And I can show that with you right now. Let's run the camera. All right, now, so that's you. And that's the microphone. It's in the same spot, but now we got these audio panels around and hopefully they do a good job. What do you guys think? Is there a difference? Let's stop this right now. That's the audio test. What do you think? Do you hear any difference? And let me know in the comments below. I'm definitely going to be making more videos and listening myself to see if there's a difference. And if I need more, if I need less, we'll see what's up. Thank you guys for watching. That's what audio panels do for a room like this. I just have a box room. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Go back to the beginning and see if there was a difference. Was there some 
Tell me what you think. I think it made a little bit of difference. I'll get used to it, see what up, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Please subscribe for future content. If you have any questions or concerns, leave them in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.